Hey Rotary guys, so I'm coming at you with another video in my COVID Chronicle series, week eight, and today we're gonna talk about COVID cash. So let's get into it. Money! <laughs> But first, of course, if you're new to my channel, hey, what up? I'm Hey Mitch Mitch, and I'm actually joined with my friend Jen. It's out of It's Mandatory Fun. What's up? Um, something that I've been plugging forever, and so we're just doing kind of like a guest appearance here for my channel. And again, if you're new to my channel, I talk about current events, reviews, and pop culture within the scope of entertainment, culture, and purpose. And yeah, so be sure to check out my videos as well as you're uh, finishing this video. So as far as my COVID Chronicles videos go, I kind of do like an update with everything Las Vegas. I don't know if you feel is kind of like the same to me. Um, there's no changes from like last week. Um, I don't know if you feel like there's any difference. No, we have really slipped into like a new norm kind yeah. of thing. For the past few weeks, it's been business as usual. The stores have been, I mean, certain things are still out. I feel like, I don't know when we're gonna get with a program on that. Like stop taking the toilet paper. Yeah. Don't know. My local grocery store seems normal. Everything seems pretty normal. There's been a lot of protests. There's been the protests over the weekend and everything. Um, however you feel about that is whatever, I guess. Um, I don't really want to get into that just with this in this video, but I can just say it. people are being cooped up and People, there's a craze. Let's yeah. just let's just a go. Craze. With it. There's a craze. <laughs> Understandable. But yeah, yeah. Just on that last note before COVID cash, I guess. I think I don't know how you feel is if everything the lockdown stuff is going to change and all that stuff. Me personally, I think if we do let go, obviously I want to observe social distancing still, but I think we're trying to slowly get into it because I do understand there's still an aspect of people that don't have jobs, right? And so yeah. I, I can understand the level of like protests and stuff. And so there's the, the, the stuff that I don't mind or I don't care for, the people who are using it as very trivial, like I want a haircut or whatever, or I want Starbucks. Oh, those are Jesus. like, those yeah. are like, I feel the, those are dumb, but there are people that supply chains for like groceries are affected. There's real affected. There, and right? we're, we're heavily hit. And yeah. not to say that we're special, we're yeah, not, yeah, but yeah. like Las Vegas is purely entertainment and yeah. hospitality yeah, 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 driven, yeah. Yeah. you know? So all of these people, you and I are so very blessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have no... Yeah, but, I, I mentioned that in my other videos too. Like exactly. Las Vegas is based on like commercial casinos hospitality it's entertainment based on you guys coming yeah, here so exactly. it, like I, I i can see us opening slowly still mm -hmm. observing social distancing but like at some point we kind of need to open up like obviously if if you're more inclined to be sick whatever obviously still maintain the distancing or stay at home whatever but at some point I, I i know we have to open up it's hurting our businesses for our for our economy yeah definitely. yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely taking a downward spiral and like this stimulus check is you know great for for us receiving yeah. the check right but like it's so poo poo for the economy like yeah, yeah, we're yeah. already trillions of dollars in debt yeah yeah where's this money coming from yeah yeah anyways <laughs> just a small point like um i'm uh, like i am i'm fine you know like i'm spoiled like yeah. sorry the base is still open i can still get a haircut i there's toilet paper i didn't even think about that there, there's toilet paper at the bx you brat um, you brat like it's only like two rolls but like Hey, like they're rationing two rolls. Like, hey, that that can survive you a month, you know. Like, well, it's, for me, it's especially because that's just by myself. So, sure. like, like I have a way better off than other people, you this know. Is true. Like, right? I'm so I don't take that for granted, and I am thankful that all that stuff. But the, the draw the drawback is if we go to war, or whatever. Like, I'm like I better pick up a weapon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like like they call me a speed dial like right. you know, like uh, like I'm on front of Smith like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> are you are you even what the freak is that I've been I'm out for team. too long? Right, I know right. Are you like checking what, IDs? Ready? Like Jesus. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Right? You got a raggedy ass beard? Yeah. <laughs> Defending oh, the front line. <laughs> yeah, they're essentially calling for like, calling for active uh, reserve people. Like, oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Can we put up? I know this is about cash, but never mind. I have a friend who was like, I, you know, I was watching her on Instagram and she's like, hey, y'all, because she had just recently gotten out and she had gotten an email 
Oh. That they're calling IRR people and like, hey, we're taking in volunteers now. But like, eventually, if no one volunteers, I feel like it might be like forced. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, if you're yeah. an IRR, get your butt in. You're yeah. activated. That has not happened, and I don't have the numbers in front of me. But like in <laughs> like decades, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That has. It's almost laughable when people mm. are like, oh yeah, I have six years, but two years of IRR. Mm -hmm. It's almost like those two years are discounted because like, lol. Yeah. Not gonna happen. Yeah. Like coronavirus. So speaking of like military and. I guess getting into like government stuff and um, um, actually COVID cash uh, because I received my COVID cash um, and then you said you didn't. I have not. Um, and then we were talking off screen and like I feel like because I was talking to all my coworkers, I think we all got like COVID cash and then like it kind of makes sense to me and I, I, this is based on like nothing but like I feel like since we're already in the system, you know, like how the government already pays us right. like our, our our normal salary pay, like I think we were already in the system so it's just kind of like a check mark like drag and, system, like, system, drag and drop system. you're like you're already in yeah. the system so like it makes sense that i got mine automatically direct deposit and so but it everyone, makes sense to me yeah i mean other people are waiting it on the paper side like and that can that could be very slow yeah. and so to be honest i'm really not not sure what we're waiting yeah. on um on the 15th um my coworkers and I were, you know, talking through the chat and like people have already gotten it. I checked my stuff and it hasn't come in yet and I don't know if that is because I didn't fill something out. Anyways, I went on the IRS website and just made sure my direct deposit stuff and all of that was filled in properly and it said, yes, you're eligible, we'll let you know when it's on its way kind of thing. So it's fine, we're waiting. I don't know when that's supposed to come in. It's not pending yet. I mean, we can go into it, but like for those who don't know, like I was reading on the COVID cash, it's just kind of like it's not free money. It's it's like mm -hmm. essentially it's an advance on your next IRS refund for right. next year. So it's not like so expect if you normally get a thousand in your IRS refund, expect half of it or whatever or whatever. So use it as responsible as you want. If you wanted to do it through all to rent, that's cool. But if you want to do it to the EDC when EDC comes out that's all on you but just keep in mind I, I say be responsible like it's uh, gonna be taken back like I'm gonna put it towards bills right and I'm uh, there is a camera that I am looking to get um, just to help build my channel so mm -hmm. um, part of it is putting it towards the economy but like I don't know I, I want to be responsible about it so totally 100% and same um, we haven't gotten our money yet but we have like our water we're First of all, the, the tap water in Vegas is like, do not drink it, do not drink it, right? So a lot of homes here have like water filtration systems um, and, and we got one and it's, it's really nice. Uh, we have a year to pay it off before we accrue like mad interest on it and we're doing, we're making really good headway on it. But I think with this COVID cash, we'll just knock that straight out um, and it'll take care of one line of credit for us. It'll mm -hmm. help our um, credit scores and everything. And I'll, everything will just go up. Mm -hmm. And not that, like, we would have paid it off, like, regardless of this thing anyways, but the sooner, and this is just, like, I feel like finance or whatever, crediting 101, right? The sooner you want to pay principal down, the less interest you're going to pay in the long mm -hmm. run. So, interest, we're in, the, we're in the interest game. Yeah. Also, just for you guys, like, I'm in Jen's place, so if you're wondering if I was doing my background, because I mentioned that in my last video, like, I want to set up my background, so I did, this is not my, this is not my background, but I, I was talking to you, like, I wanted to do that minimal light on the side, mm -hmm. um, and then, obviously, a gallery wall, and then probably a bookshelf, and so, yeah, yeah. no, I think you have, the, watching your videos, you have the perfect space mm -hmm. behind you, like, for it, mm -hmm. and I think that, like, yeah, with just little, little accents, it would be super cute, yeah, yeah. I just have this wall, I decorate this wall. <laughs> <laughs> so another thing with the COVID cash, with, you know, obviously we would like for you to spend it responsibly or what, invest, whatever, something responsible with it, but people are doing funny things with Oh, it. yeah, you were talking to me about, yeah, 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 go, yes, go, go. it was hilarious. Uh, my, uh, again, yesterday I was talking with my friend who has, she was joining one of those live feeds, those live videos. So she knows someone in Portland, led like drag queen that she follows in Portland and I'm so sorry. I, I don't know the names. I don't know the names. But she was sending us screenshots and little video snippets, and they were hilarious. So, like, people are really getting creative with their side hustles during this time. So she was streaming this, and she put out a thing, for every $5 you donate, she'll take a shot. And she had her little bottle of, whatever, tequila or something like that. And um, thinking that, you know, people have been out of jobs and we're kind of struggling here. People just don't have money to throw at watching someone take shots well 
we're in a society of trolls and when you give trolls a wad of cash and then you know nothing to do like they will so people were hella throwing mm. money at her to take shots and in 10 minutes she excuse me in 30 minutes she must have taken 10 shots uh it was still hilarious to watch them. Yeah. the snippets that i watched like she's sure it's not my thing to like watch people get sick off of that kind of thing but anyways that's what people are doing with their money just on live feeds and live videos and yeah. look at she she should have charged 10 15 dollars per shot but yeah she thought whatever she made money about going back to circling back with like the lockdown and like it once it, it's gone i'm pretty sure like you know vegas is gonna like first friday like everyone <laughs> like we're probably gonna be a social distancing but people would probably want to get out of there it'll probably uh, be like its own coachella right <laughs> i can just see fremont right now yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> oh my gosh like, people we, dressing up for like it will be an event yeah we, yeah we need to do our own video and I, i've been i mentioning in our stuff like we should yeah. do like a first friday masquerade um in which like it's not like a covering the eyes it's covering the mouth you know right <laughs> so um yeah definitely that would be that would be really fun everyone else is going to be showing up and showing out i guarantee yeah that kind of wraps it up as far as talking about covid cash and, and this little update and week about covid chronicles here and so um thank you for watching let us know what are you doing with your covid cash if you have your covid cash what are you spending it on is it, are you being responsible or are you just sending it all in like um dares in, in on youtube live chats and so let us know um comment below you can follow me on my instagram at hey mitch mitch you can follow jen at guilty, guilty Play. pleasure g-i-l-d-y pleasure and also you can follow our joint instagram at it's mandatory fun where we also do videos on youtube it's mandatory fun so thanks again for watching see you in the next video peace Subscribe. peace peace be with you